It is not flat earthers who are stumbling on their own beliefs. It is those who claim space is real, despite the evidence against it. It's those who cannot shed the chains of public indoctrination. They are the ones stumbling over their beliefs because their beliefs cannot stand up to the scrutiny of real science. Actually, it definitely stands up to the scrutiny of real science. You don't actually represent the globe uh, model accurately. You're going to totally negate forces that are necessary for the globe model science that follows the scientific method and not the worldview of some men who use math and antiquated axioms and unproven theories to sell the world on the fantasy that is planets and galaxies in an endless vacuum where all these places exist. All right, let's lay this out in a few diagrams to explain it. But first, we may need to spin the MIT chalkboard so that people better understand the second law of thermodynamics. And so now we will have the gas pressure at the ground level and the vacuum on top of it. We can watch, but the same holds true. Take a gas. In some volume, V. And over here is going to be vacuum of equal volume. And we're going to remove the barrier. You know what's going to happen spontaneously, right? The gas is going to fill the available volume once, it's, once it becomes available. Now, globe proponents have only one answer, and that answer is almost always the same. Gravity. Yes, good old magic sauce. So gravity holds the gas to Earth. Well, let's see if we can show how this too is tragically flawed with some little diagrams I'll walk you through now. Ba basically, he's shitting on gravity here uh, and saying that, oh, there's a problem with using gravity. And uh, the problem is, though, is that he thinks that gravity isn't real. As we saw earlier, gravity is a measurable force. As you get higher in the mountains, uh, well, as you get higher in elevation, gravity has less of an effect. So gravity is a measurable thing, and the law of gravity that we have can predict exactly what you would measure at those heights. That's why it's a law of gravity, which is really funny, because in this particular clip, Nathan Oakley actually says, It's a law, Wiggles! It's a law! It's not my idea! It's a law. That means it's never been disproven, which is not that that's not exactly the definition of what a law is. He, he admits that laws are things that are for all intents and purposes proven and unchanging. And, but yet the law of gravity, he doesn't want to admit is real. And that's what uh, Jaronism here is also doing. He's uh, saying that gravity isn't real, even though we have measurable evidence that he would accept. Like, he does these kind of experiments all the time. But now he's going to tell us why it doesn't make sense on a globe. He's going to totally remove gravity from the situation, which is a straw man of the globe model. So in the first diagram, we have a container and we've got gas pressure or air on the left side. And then we've got a divider and then we create a vacuum in the right side of the container. Now, as we remove the barrier or the divider, we know that the gas, the air, will immediately fill all the available space. High pressure to low pressure, always. In this case, we'd still have gas pressure because we are in a container, giving the remaining gas something to press on. So what he's explaining here is the basics of the second law of thermodynamics. Now, you can actually like describe the second law of thermodynamics in various ways for different situations. Generally, it talks about entropy increasing over time rather than decreasing. And so what he's showing here is an example of that increase in entropy. And all entropy is is order, like order of the universe. Like for instance, he had one side as a vacuum, one side filled with air. Everything was, was ordered in that way. But if you let things naturally play out, then the second law of thermodynamics just basically says that that gas will fill whatever space that it's in. And we see that everywhere. Even with our own atmosphere, we see it because if you create a vacuum, like a, a pocket uh, a vacuum or whatnot here on Earth, then the air rushing in to fill that vacuum, it, it doesn't create suction, by the way. Vacuums don't create suction. The air rushes in as a product of the second law of thermodynamics. And that's pretty much what he's explaining here. I mean, he, he's going to show how dumb he is here in a minute. Go to this next diagram where we're going to move. Instead, we're going to rotate our container and this time create a vacuum on the top and the gas pressure below. 
Again, when we remove the divider, we know exactly what will happen. The gas will fill the void. Again, we still have gas pressure because we have a container, which is a necessary antecedent because we can't have gas pressure without the container to press on. That's actually not, that. that's not why there's pressure. This is definitely the idiot part right here. So you're a fucking idiot, Jaronism, okay? Because for one thing, if you could imagine, if you will, uh, this same setup, but you had some kind of magical material that attracted that air like gas that you have, right? It's just general air, but air is comprised of different uh, molecules and everything like that. So let's just say it's a generalized air kind of attracting substance, right? And let's put enough of that air attracting substance to represent the force of gravity here on Earth. What you would actually find is that most of the gas would keep itself separated and only the very top little bit would eventually dissipate into the vacuum. But what he wants to say here is that gravity is not real, even though it's a main component of the globe model. He's going to remove gravity and then say, oh, look, it flies off into the vacuum. It's like, well, no shit, motherfucker. It'll fly off into the vacuum. God damn it. Get some sense about you, you fucking idiot. He's basically removing the prime component that explains it. He's presenting it as the actual reality of the situation when we can use observations to show that there at least is some force that is pulling on the matter on the face of the earth. So regardless of whether or not you want to accept gravity as a real thing, there's no way that you can get past that. But fucking Jaronism just doesn't even doesn't even realize.